I'm here in Concert Durham, England to have a look at this awesome retro gaming store, Games Galaxy. Let's take a look. Retro Tech 100. Games Galaxy's got everything from current gen to retro. Lots of stuff I've never seen anywhere else and tons and I mean tons of import games. You also have plenty of collectibles. The amount of awesome stuff in this shop just goes on and on and on. There used to be a different gaming store on this site called Chips, but Nick the owner has taken over this store and now it's Games Galaxy. I'll let him tell you about it. But uh, did you get a lot of confusion when people came in and they found that you were getting a lot of import stuff and nice bits rather than what was here? What was here was okay. Yeah, Chips but, I mean, was good in its heyday, mm. but it was getting a bit tired towards the end. Um, we took over, everyone was very, very pleased. Yeah, we, we weren't expecting the response we got. We've got a lot of stuff there, PC and... Oh, lovely. Yeah, we did a PC Engine Pro Duo the other day, that one, box one. That was cool. cool. And there's the LT system that we don't see oh. many of. I've never seen one. Nice to see Pierce Solar and Sternwind. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm going to have to trade in a lot of stuff. <laughs> Wow. That's crazy. So, when you took over this store, beforehand, were you uh, selling privately, or was it just you've gone straight into it? Or? Yeah, I mean, my history was I set chips up in 1986. Oh, right. So, I've got a lot of history in the industry. Mm -hmm. um, and then, basically, chips expanded, and again, we had good times and then lots yep. of good times recently um i left that and then i took over the stock so you, you started chips mm -hmm. and then you got out of it and you've mm -hmm. gone back into independent yep. and you just started with one store just one store yeah I'm not no plans for expansion well with the internet store. you don't really need to do you, you if somebody no, this, wants to buy something this is something. all about selling online still but also having a base allowing people to trade in here allowing people to collect goods here as well you know and also come and visit it to yeah the museum as well really
Neo Geo CD. I used to collect for the CD. Ah, uh, well, you'll recognise yeah. some of them. This is when I, you could get games for five or six quid. I used to buy them in boxes, but then I sold everything. Oh. What, what we want is every time people come, they get a different experience. Oh yeah, that's really important to yeah. retro gamers to, to see something, and then it becomes a, a meeting place right. for retro gamers. God, the import stuff is unbelievable. Oh yes. Unbelievable. Famicom Disk System. If you check Game out Boy. our Facebook page as well, yeah. we added a video of all the cabinets when we just filled up with Super Famicom and there was probably three times as much as there is there. It's crazy. No, it's that one we've got on Holy Night, which is the new release. The only release that's come out. I'm not, I'm not up on uh, Snares Homebrew, but I guess there isn't a lot about. Well, that's licensed. That's oh, is it? Yep. Yeah. It's the first game. came out in May. It's the first game to come out since 1999. Bloody hell. Unholy Night? I'll have to look it up. It's a really great store to buy anything and everything retro and modern. Oh, just a great place to hang out. I had a great time here and I'll be back again. Here's me chatting with Nick, the owner of Games Galaxy. He made me feel very welcome and very nice of him to let me film in his store. There's a Games Galaxy Facebook page. The link's in the description below. This has been Retro Tech 100. I'll see you next time.